Today, I'm going to host an Alifium node via the Flux Marketplace. Alifium is a blockchain that uses proof of less work, which combines physical work and coin economics to dynamically adjust the work required to mine new blocks. Simply put, it is very energy efficient and it is also scalable, which means that it allows for higher use of transactions per second. So today we're going to use the Flux Marketplace to make the node. Flux is a decentralized cloud computing system based on thousands of single servers worldwide. And the advantages of using Flux versus traditional Web2 infrastructures includes that all the applications are redundant and have automatic failovers in case of outages. So the chances of outages is very minimal. Flux Cloud is agnostic to code language, meaning that you could use virtually any code. Um, and this is more for developers at, uh, developers aspect. The Flux Cloud automatically keeps applications up to date. So everything is always updating, which is very good. And the Flux Cloud offers uncompetitive pricing or the pricing of their services is very cheap, very affordable. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is we would want what they call the Zellcore wallet. So first let's go to Zellcore. So go to zellcore.io. Next, we're going to click on Windows because I'm actually using a Windows computer. If you had a Mac or a Linux, you would need to download um, your version. So let's go ahead and click on Windows. We're going to click on Windows, not Windows Portable. Now, I clicked on it. I actually already have it downloaded, but we're going to go through every single step together. So um, next, let's go ahead and open the Zellcore wallet. Okay, welcome to the new Zellcore. We need a username and password. Um, and so we need to actually click on sync slash register below login. So click here. Now we need to create a username and password. Next, let's click set up password recovery. Now we need to click, yes, I have backed up my credentials. You need to make sure that you have a copy of your credentials and keep them somewhere safe. Next, we're going to click on register. Now let's log in to our Zellcore wallet. So right now we're in the portfolio overview. And so now we can actually get some flux into our wallet. Now we could go to run on flux.io and then click on buy flux and crypto at the top right of the screen. We can type in, um, $20 USD and receive 43.45 flux. Now, if we click continue and then we look at the network, 
we have be, the options between BSC or Ethereum. But what if I wanted to just use the native Flux blockchain? Well, we have the option to use KuCoin. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a centralized exchange. I'm going to use Uphold and purchase some crypto. And then we're going to send the crypto over to KuCoin. And then we're going to swap that crypto into Flux. So first, I have my Uphold account open. We're going to purchase Stellar. So now I have $24 and six cents in XLM. Now let's go into KuCoin. Make sure that if you have, if you do not have a KuCoin account, you'll want to make an account on KuCoin. Click on the wallet icon on the top, right? We're going to deposit. And then we're going to deposit crypto. We're going to select XLM. The network is Stellar Lumens XLM. Now you need the memo and the address for an XLM deposit. So click OK. Now we're going to copy the address and go back to our wallet on Uphold. Now we're going to select XLM and we're going to send all of it. Paste the address, go back to KuCoin and then copy the memo. Do not forget that if you use XLM, you want to paste the memo and then click confirm. We're going to click confirm again. And now I have to enter my verification code. We just sent the XLM to KuCoin. And now we wait. I just received the XLM. So now we can click on the wallet. And then we can look here in asset overview. And we can see that the trading account is funded with the XLM. Um, if we click on it again, you can even see here coin XLM. And then you see the total amount. So now we can go to markets. And then let's go to search, type in XLM. We go to trade and then we go to spot. I have to enter my password. Now in spot, we're going to click market. So you see limit and then market. We're going to sell hundred percent of the XLM. So we're going to sell all of the XLM. Now we should have USDT because we sold XLM for USDT. Next, at the top left, you see where it says XLM slash USDT. Click on XLM slash USDT. And then let's type in flux. And you should see flux slash USDT. I also have it as favorites. Next, let's go to market once more. 
And then we're going to purchase 100%. Click Buy Flux. I have successfully placed the order. Now, let's go back to our KuCoin account. We can go back to the wallet. Let's go to our trading. And you can see that now I have Flux. Next, we're going to send this Flux to our Zelle Core wallet. Now, in portfolio overview, you can see that I already have Flux um, added. Now, you can click Add Assets or you can click Show Zero sh uh, Sum. So, Show Zero Sum and Flux is already added. If you go to Payments or Income, um, you can click add assets or you can click show zero sum if you click income and show zero sum is not clicked you will see no asset with balance you need to click add assets and then click add asset and then you need to look for flux you can just type in a uh, search you will see um the different types of tokens that they have and they have more than 400 different tokens but what we're looking for is flux and we're not looking for flux eat or flux bsc we're looking for the native asset so i already added the other assets to show as a comparison comparison we are looking for the native token flux. So these are the other options, but we're not using these. So we click on flux and then we're going to click receipt. Next, let's receive flux into our income. Then we're going to click on copy where it says wallet address and link is the same address, but we're just going to click wallet address. Let's go back to our KuCoin and we're going to transfer this flux back into our main account. We're going to transfer all into our main account. So click confirm now in our main account, we have the flux. We're going to withdraw. Select coin flux. We're withdrawing to the address that we just copied from the Zellcore wallet. So let's paste the address. Select the network, which would be flux. One flux or 45 cents is the fee. We're going to confirm. Now, the minimum amount to send is five flux. Just to be safe, we're going to send a small amount of five. And then we're going to withdraw. Click confirm. Type in the trading pa uh, password that you created for KuCoin. And then send the code to your phone. Our withdraw has initiated. We're going to click confirm. And then we're going to go back to the Zellcore wallet. And we're going to wait to receive our flux. We indeed received our flux into our Zillcor wallet. You can see that the five flux is in our account. And if I go back to KuCoin, you can see that the transaction has been completed. So it indeed worked. So now we can go back and let's send the rest of the flux 
to our Zillcore wallet. So we're going to paste the same address that we use from the Zillcore wallet. If we go to income and then receive, and then we click on wallet address, we're going to copy and paste. And then we're going to, again, select the network, which was Flux, confirm it. And now let's go ahead and send everything. Now our second Flux transaction has been completed. We can go back to the Zellcore wallet and you can see that I have 51.1 Flux in my wallet now. Next, we're going to go to the Flux OS dashboard. So you will want to go to home.runonflux.io. Log in using Zelle ID. We're going to click on the thumbprint. And then we're going to click open Zelle core. We're going to sign and send. The message was signed and sent. We're going to click close. Now let's go to Flux OS dashboard again. We are in our account because you can see at the top right, it says log out. Next, we're going to scroll all the way down to the marketplace. And then we're going to look for a lithium. We could either click on sort A through Z, or we could go to crypto and then scroll down until you see a lithium. Next, we're going to click a lithium node. And then you should see the details, which you can host your Alifium full node on the Flux cloud. So for the details, you see the requirements of what you'll need to operate this node. Next, we're going to click start launching marketplace app. One, check registration. You do not need to do anything here. Just click next. Number two, sign app message. We're going to click on the fingerprint to sign in with Zellcore. Signed and send. We're going to close the Zellcore wallet right now. Next, we're going to click next. We're going to register Flux app. Now we can click next. Now it says send payment. To finish the application update, please make a transaction of 4.2 flux to this address. So we can click pay with Zellcore and then open Zellcore, proceed to pay. We're going to send. Yes, send. The transaction has been sent. Okay. And so now before I click finish, I want to make sure that the transaction of 4.2 flux has been sent. I can go back to my Zillcore wallet and I do see that the transaction was completed because I had 51.1 flux in my account. Now I have 46.9 flux. If I click on flux and then I click on details, I can see that the transaction under transaction history shows that the transaction went through. So now we're going to minimize 
the Zillcore wallet. We're going to click finish. Then it says, please ensure that you have paid for your app or save the payment details for later. Close the launch app dialog. Click yes. So now we see that because the transaction went through, we should have our Elifium node running. So how do we check to see if the node is running? We will go to global apps and then we can go to my apps. And here we go. We can see that the Elifium node is up and running as of 1252 PM. We are hosting the full node on the Flux cloud right now. Your node would need to be updated once a month. And so you will need to go to manage and then manage app. We will have to go to update specifications, scroll all the way down to compute update message. Next, we would need to sign the signature with the Zellcore wallet. So open Zellcore, signed and send. Close, minimize, and then we're going to update the Flux app. Okay, and now it says to finish the application uh, update, please make a transaction of 0 0.01 Flux to this address. So we're going to pay with Zillcore once more. Thank you for watching my guide. I hope this guide helps individuals properly set up an Alifium node and have fun supporting the Alifium blockchain with decentralized infrastructure.